Não, não. Onde, darling? Onde, Burrito? Não sei, porque é de Foi o metal, tá aí, metal. Então, isso é muito bem. Então, não há diferentes acentos. Então, se você viajar, você vai ter um acento. Fast, fast. Mas eu não sei. Não, não é esse lado. Eu vou mudar o acento. Você sabe o que é o melhor coisa sobre esse tipo de acento? Eu não estou fazendo isso intencionalmente. Esse é o acento que eu tenho, eles estão switchando. Eu quase passei para mim. Eu? Eu estou falando sobre isso. Eu não sabia sobre isso. Eu te digo, eu tenho diferentes acentos. Eu sinto que às vezes ele vem de um dos filmes que eu sempre assisto e os filmes. This one. What is just this? The one I said that I just said. Do you have your normal accent? Mm -hmm. Then there's one accent when you are talking to people. Maybe when you are teaching, or maybe you are doing presentation. That's another yeah, accent. Yeah, then the, there's Jennifer's diary accent. So you have like three or four accents. The Kiki family. Okay, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Solifa Deyi. I film about faith, lifestyle, and relationship. So today, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Today's video is about a week in my life, but mostly like the project stuff. Guys, I started my project, I would look for the date and put it here. But I started my project back in January and I wasn't around because it was my grandma's burial and I had to go to a year. Guys, it was a lot. But thank God for support system, guys. Guys, say support system. My group members are the, they are the realized gist. My friend, don't let me begin to mention names. But all of you, my loves, you have my heart, and you know that you have my heart. So, guys, that's one thing. And if you're seeing this beautiful ring that I've just been flashing in your eyes, don't worry. I'm gonna give you the gist of this ring later, and probably put like just put the details of the person that um. Okay, it was a gift. Let's let me just let me backtrack it and let you know that it was a gift. Timba moi mejeji. Let me just let you guys know that it was a gift. But I'll try and get the details of person who or the vendor who my friend who he got the gift from. So let's just let's leave that for that as far as that is concerned. So guys, so um, I started my bench work, meaning that I said like the major part of my project. February 9, 2022. Yeah. 2022. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Anyways, I started my project on February two, February 9, 2022. I will put the date here because some people don't always record this video. And this video shall be recorded. And my topic is effect of crude oil contaminated water on hypothalamic pituitary axis, hypothalamic adrenal axis. I put talami pituitary agenda. Well, guys, I'll put it here. Or me we start at. And guys, see, it's not being easy. I can't hold rats. I can't grip rats. Up until now. If I can grip it before the end of this week, I will let you do what you now. I can't grip rats. What can I feed it yet? But those my rats are crazy. Even the hands of the pro, those rats are moving mad. They're moving crazy. But the hand of the Lord is upon them. Okay, guys, so we spent like Roughly now, I spent like over 70,000 naira on my work, and it's been a lot on my family like, everybody just trying to be supportive and all of that. So, um, major things my, my therapist has been very supportive all the way, always answering our most hilarious questions. Although, there was something that shocked me after like two days of my project work, and then he said, Oh, if you knew I was really interested in ovulation and pregnancy. You would have changed my topic and it was like have you started your bench work if you don't start your bench work you can sell your male rats and buy female rats i'm like did that just happen but anyways we move on so we're going with what god has planned that this be or this happened to be so um in between that we had valentine's day and guys my roommates turned up we made jello fries and beef it was valentine's day in our room and everybody enjoyed their safe and had their day but I think that the one thing I've learned about my project work is it's not really about one person. It takes an entire village, literally, in the sense that you need friends to be available for you. I remember some of my friends bringing food for me, guys. It was pretty emotional for me. I remember, like, having health issues during that period as well. I remember not being able to sleep, like, just turning, and I'm like, God, it's not yet six. I need to stand up and go feed these rats. I remember coming back past nine, past ten, past eight, from the animal house where we keep our rats and it's just been a lot but i thank god for support i thank god for grace i thank god for the holy spirit i thank god for my home 
and anytime I say my home, just not talking about my church, guys. I thank God for my home. I thank God for those in my department checking up on me. Everyone just say, to are you fine? Hope it's well. Do you need any help? I thank God for everyone, literally. Honestly, like, this is not supposed to be a vote of thanks, but for me, that's like one of the most important things that has helped me now. And I think that data consumption is just a lot. So I think one thing I would advise anybody who is a student that is in their final year and their project is coming up soon is guys i've not finished so i can't give so many tips but the little that i've seen work for me is have a good support system let them know that this coming month uh, is going to be hectic prepare for the best and the worst you know have snacks because sometimes you won't be able to even move to cook your food if they cook food for you you'll not even be able to warm it so have snacks you know have data so that you can get information have re have recharge card on your phone so you can call people when they need their help you know have basic things that you need um i think another thing for me would just be don't forget yourself don't forget to pray there will be days you literally forget yourself but at the end of the day or by the end of the day literally try not to forget yourself know that you also matter not just the work and try to do the work bit by bit so if you begin to encourage yourself on consistency, I think that that would work for you. Like some people have started their chapter two already. They are doing like every night. Some people do it like every three days. Know your own method, what works for you and go ahead with it. Another thing is try not to pass aggression. It's going to be difficult, but try not to pass aggression. If possible, don't reply the message immediately. Um, another thing I think I did was I saved up, even though I've exhausted those savings now or that savings now, try and save up for your personal needs before then. So for me, I bought my um, sanitary pad towels in bulk. I bought so many things in bulk that I'm still using from January till now that even if I know that pocket money isn't coming because of the amount of money I'm collecting for my project. By the way, pocket money is coming. Yatulu is taking care of me but i'm just putting that out there so saving up also helps because you might call your parents now that you need twenty thousand naira, and then they're not for coming with the 10 20 000 naira by the time you need it but if you have 10k you can easily borrow 10 and then once they, they have the money you can refund unnecessary parties so i think that is essential that you you keep your sev your savings rather in check your data and your recharge card your data so that sometimes you can just if you are tired of everything just binge watch a movie or something just laugh online and so that you can get adequate information you can research anything see google is your best friend this time then um support system ask for advice from seniors that have done it before try and look for articles on people that have done it before your friends you know that's why you should also be, be other people's support system if you're not somebody's support system nobody will come up for you where it's your own tone so i think that that's very important and then just do an hairstyle that will last <coughs> you my dear hairstyle that no matter what happened you're just gonna rock it so for me, I, ha I have my wig, I did mini twist, I'm going to retighten it very soon again and if possible, I'm going to lock my hair guys. So for me, I just think that try and put things in place that would um, run for you or help you run through. And then another thing is, from your supervisor, expect the best and the worst. So in case your supervisor is not that supportive, don't, don't take it too personal because the moment you start taking it personally, you might be um, focusing too much on the minor. You just have to move on from there. And I think another thing is just pray about it. Let God help you. Let him favor you. So I pray for everyone that is in my shoe right now that are going through this hit period. Like the Lamia they will call it. As we're going through this hit period. See, I pray that God just helps us. That the Holy Spirit strengthens you. That he shows himself mighty. That um, he strengthens those that are around you to also help you. Find favor and mercy in this time like never before in Jesus' name. And if you're in school and things are just getting bad, my dear, take a breath. Take take a breath. Take a night off. You'll be fine. So, guys, that's all about my project week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do well to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. I thought this video makes me look like I'm busty.